Our next speaker truly doesn't need an introduction in this building at all. In 2007, she made history in the Commonwealth when she became the first female Senate President here at the State House. Throughout her tenure, both as Senate President and as a State Senator from Plymouth and Barstable in most districts, she has been an unwavering friend and defender of people with disabilities and the disenfranchised. The MDFC has continually counted on her support on so many occasions, and she has come through for the MDFC with flying colors. Uh, we are, she was recently honored at the MDSC Annual Conference with a prestigious leadership award, and we're delighted that she's made time out with us as scheduled today. Senate President, Theresa. Down Syndrome Congress has just been an amazing resource and advocate for people with Down Syndrome and their families here in the Commonwealth. And when I went out to the, uh, the uh, annual meeting in Worcester, uh, I was able to get some materials because I had just met someone that uh, I had just found that someone I know have a child diagnosed not just with Down but with very complicated other issues also. And didn't uh, and had just been told the week before, and I was able to get a lot of materials. Uh, from some of the tables there that helped them and connected them with other families. So it's a great event and I'm glad you continue to do that. Through your programs, events, and your networking opportunities, you're making such a positive impact on individuals' lives and giving them unique opportunities to reach their fullest potential. That's what our job is. It's always been my honor to support this community and the disabilities community as a whole throughout my years here in the Senate. And I was especially proud to help pass legislation in 2012 that empowers families and expecting parents with knowledge about Down syndrome so they can make informed decisions based upon the most up-to-date research, which is always advancing. And David Falcone, who was my communications director at the time, was uh, the person who got me to push that legislation. He's in the back of the room here. His daughter Lucy is a great pal of all of ours. But I know how much the legislation means to all of you, and it's a reflection of the Commonwealth's continued commitment to advocating for this community. We also know that there is still so much we can do for individuals. Researchers are constantly making progress, finding and proposing new ways to improve, correct, or prevent many of the problems associated with Down syndrome. And with how far we've come already in just the past few years, the future is always becoming more promising for these individuals. Equally as important is our ability to come together, support each other, and foster an environment of positivity and growth. And you have all made that happen. Thank you for your efforts to build such a strong community of individuals and families who are an inspiration to us all. Your compassion and advocacy are invaluable to the legislature and to Massachusetts as a whole. And I hope you all have very productive meetings with your legislators today. And please remember, that the Massachusetts Legislature is proud to support the important work you do, and we will continue to do so in the future, and I can assure you uh, that when this bill, uh, House 1674, comes to the Senate, it will be passed. <laughs> 